As many of you know, at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, I spent several weeks in Mexico. I learned uh, more about the, the ancient Mexican culture, the Mayan civilization, planned for 2023, and of course, tasted ample wine. Now, since coming back uh, from my trip, several of you have asked me about Mexican wines, and we discussed in some of the comments sections why they're not readily available in the U.S. Now, in this video, I'm going to mix all those wine-related topics together. We're going to look at two things. First, why Mexican wines are not widely available, and second, the five best Mexican varietals, their taste profile, and several food pairings. This one's unusual. I'm ready. I'm really, really excited uh, about this one. Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. I'm excited to talk with you today about Mexican wines. Keep in mind at any time if you like what you hear click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Also make sure you share this with one of your friends or a whole handful of your friends for that matter. I'm sure they would really appreciate it. As I indicated to several of you in comments and by email, there are several reasons why Mexican wines are not as widely available in the U.S. market. They're not as available as wines from other countries who have gotten into the, the wine market more recently like Australia, New Zealand, Chile, uh, Brazil, uh, and even South Africa. Several of the, the reasons are, are history. Mexico has a long tradition of winemaking that dates way back to the Spanish colonial era, but uh, their wine industry is relatively young. It's been producing wine only a few decades. Climate. Mexico's climate is not ideal for, for grape growing. It's very hot and very dry and is challenging for many grape varietals. However, some regions in Mexico, such as the Baja California area and the central state of uh, Canero, uh, have microclimates that are better suited for grape growing. Regulations. Mexican wine producers face a ton of regulatory hurdles, including high taxes, bureaucratic red tape, corruption, and the lack of governmental support. It's almost impossible for a, a small young wine producer to, to compete in the global market. Oh yeah, uh, and I sort of already mentioned this, competition. Mexican wines face tough competition from well-established wine producing company, countries uh, like France, Italy, and Spain. Now additionally, some of the, the new players, like I mentioned earlier, are making great wine and are very aggressive in their marketing. How are you doing there? Is this information Good? Is it informative? If it is, write ASTI in the comments below. Now Mexico is a, a, a rapidly growing wine region and while it's still relatively new to the, to the wine world, there are several varietals that are gaining recognition. Here are the top five. Tempranillo. This is a red grape native to Spain. It's full bodied with rich flavors and red and black fruit uh, flavors and can be aged in oak barrels uh, to add extra complexity and depth. I plan to pair it with a wide variety of meats including grilled or roasted lamb, beef, and pork. It works incredibly well with stews and hearty vegetable dishes. Nibbiolo. This is one of my favorite and I'll be uh, talking more about it next week in a video next week. It's a red grape that's native to Italy. Its wines have complex flavors of dark fruit, leather, and spices, and is often aged in oak barrels, adding layers of flavor and texture. Nibbiolo pairs well with rich, flavorful dishes like braised beef, oso buco, which is like a, a, a veal shank braised with uh, vegetables, white wine, and, and broth. It, goes, it also goes with, with uh, slow-cooked meats. Uh, plan to pair it with 
hard aged cheeses like a uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Now up next is Barbera. Barbera is a red grape that also is native to Italy. It brings with it bright acidity, vibrant red fruit flavors, and soft tannins, making it a versatile wine that pairs really well with a wide range of, of foods like pizza, pasta with tomato-based sauces, and roasted or grilled meats. Now we also have Chardonnay. It's one of uh, two white varietals on our, our list. It grows all over the world and produces wines with flavors of tropical fruit, citrus, uh, and vanilla. And when aged in oak, uh, oak barrels, it has uh, added depth and richness. Chardonnay pairs well with a broad range of, of seafood dishes, including shrimp scampi, uh, uh, grilled salmon, and uh, crab cakes. It's also a good match for creamy pasta dishes and roasted chicken. Rounding out my top five is Chenin Blanc. It's my other white wine grape and uh, originated in the Loire Valley in France. Uh, its flavor profile brings along with it green apples, honey, apricot, and a range of, 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 of from anywhere from dry to sweet. Chenin Blanc is really versatile and pairs uh, well with a lot of different foods, including spicy Asian cuisine, um, shrimp, uh, uh, grilled shrimp, and other seafoods, and roasted pork with uh, maybe apples, apples and onions. Overall, my top five wine varietals are slightly challenging to find, yet they offer a range of flavors and styles uh, are, are versatile and can be paired well with a, a lot of different dishes and are a great representation of Mexico's unique terroir and uh, winemaking techniques. Well, there you have it, the top five Mexican wines. Stay tuned for more on this particular topic next week. Until then, cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine-related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.